it is said that uh, we are becoming one country, one system, and we've lost the autonomy. Now, that is completely false and wrong. As a matter of fact, people often forget that Hong Kong SAR is part of China. We are one country, and without one country, there isn't any basis to talk about two systems. And therefore, insofar as the national security is concerned, as in any other country in the world, this is a matter that belongs to the central authorities, whether it is a unitary state or a federal state. Any other state that tries to use coercion or whatever means with a view to interfere with the uh, sovereign right of a state to pass their own national security law is arguably infringing on the principle of non-intervention under public international law, and that is not acceptable. As to the uh, suggestion of uh, certain individuals or perhaps a, a particular region being sanctioned as a result of uh, China uh, passing a national security law, uh, we step back and look at it in this way. National security is of prime importance to any sovereign state. And any sovereign state must, as a matter of their sovereign right and indeed duty to protect the sovereignty, the unity and territorial integrity of any state. And therefore, passing national security law is something that any state has to do.